<laughs> I love this. Cashmere blue. There's no other blue stone in the world even remotely like this. Uh, we even have the rough. But I want to just quickly, $69, Jay, I know it's, and this is, okay, and I want I mean, everybody seriously. to Seriously. Okay, this is from Peru. And this is angel light. Okay, this is the raw material. This is what the raw material looks like. And I want to just tell everybody, if I didn't tell you, okay, um, this actually, if you, um, back in the day, this like looks like Peruvian blue opal, which to tell you the truth, if you have a Peruvian blue opal in, um, in your inventory, it's like printing money. It's like liquid money. It's unbelievable. But doesn't this look like but it? But it looks ident Well, it looks really good to it. And when I found, first saw this material, I've got this. I got this material five years ago, and um, the the man from Peru, who actually was at one time in the late 70s, my connection for Peruvian blue opal. I actually met him in Peru. I met him in Tucson the very first time, uh, just before we shut down, and he came to the our booth. He came to. He came to me and he had this old greasy, like am green ammo bag, you know, like canvas ammo bag. Anyway, he comes up, he goes, you remember me? I said, yeah, you know, how you doing and everything. And, um, and he says, you know, I've got something to, I, you know, I, I wanted to show you that I'm just now mining. And he opens this, and you know, and here again, it's, it's like oily, you know, and he opens it up and I look. And one thing I've learned, okay, and never get excited <laughs> in front about, of it. <laughs> about rough material that somebody is showing to you because if you do, the price just went through the roof. The price just doubled, right? And so you're, you know, you're not going to be able to get a deal. But when he opened that bag, I thought, Was oh it my gosh, kind of it's yeah. Well, uh, you know, I, this has already, you know, been yeah. been cleaned up. But I looked at it and I thought, oh my gosh, he's back in the blue opal business. We're going to oh. be able to do Peruvian blue opal. So, um, I, you know, like, I just was real calm about it. And yeah. at that time, all I had was the specimens. I bought the specimens, or actually gave them to me. I had them tested. When it came back, it came back as anhydrate. Now, what they call this so pretty. Um, is they call it angel light. I've seen it. There's actually several different sources on it in Peru. There's two or three people that have it. Um, but right now, you can't even get the material. But I'm just telling you, that at value. that price,